Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? Today I'm going to be talking about the four reasons why the narcissist will not get good karma. I always talk about them receiving their karma, getting the bad karma, but this is a different approach. This is telling you why they won't receive their good karma. So before I get into it, there's four reasons why you will receive good karma. Okay, number one. You have to love and forgive yourself. Number two, you have to love and forgive others. Number three, you have to have kindness and compassion. And number four, you have to reflect on your actions. Now, those four reasons that I've given, which I will go into detail, the narcissist will not do. And because they will not do these four things, it's impossible for them to receive good karma, okay? Number one, they can't love and forgive themselves. Whatever they went through, whatever childhood trauma they went through, abuse, neglect, whatever happened to them as a child, they cannot forgive themselves for that happening to them. So because they can't forgive themselves, it's impossible for them to receive good karma. They can't love themselves. Because they, I, I don't know why, but they, they just can't love themselves. It's a false love. Okay? So, because of that, they will not receive their good karma. Number two. They're not going to love or forgive others. You can love someone from a distance. You can forgive others without them apologising or being sorry for anything. But the narcissist will not do that. The narcissist will never love you, no matter what you've done for them. They will never forgive you for leaving them, for not being the person they thought you were in their heads. You didn't deceive them, you didn't wear a mask, but whatever they thought you were, it turns out that you were not that person. Maybe they thought you were a doormat, then they realised that you're not a doormat and how dare you and they will never forgive you for that they'll never forgive you for having your own mind for standing up for yourself for loving yourself for putting yourself first how dare you okay that's why they won't receive their good karma number three they have to have kindness and compassion for people it's impossible I'm so sorry. It's so impossible for them to have kindness for somebody. If you see them being kind, they are love bombing, they are up to something, and there's a motive behind it. Compassion. Very similar to empathy. It's just impossible. Okay? They're not going to feel compassion for anyone. It's just, it's just, it just can't happen. And number four, one of the most important ones, they can't reflect on themselves. They won't and they refuse to because remember, they think they're perfect. So because they're not going to reflect on themselves and their actions and things they have done, because it's it's always somebody else's fault, they are always blame shifting, they're not going to receive their good karma. This is why they can't receive their good karma, because they can't do them four things. They can't forgive themselves, forgive others, be kind, compassionate, and they can't reflect. They choose not to. That's something that they're not going to do. Okay? So they're not going to receive their good karma. It's impossible. So you may not see bad karma coming their way, but they're surely not going to receive good karma. When you understand that, then you're never going to feel that real happiness that you're going to feel. What we need to focus on is the good karma that we will be receiving. And the reason I say this is because after dealing with the narc or a toxic person, after being portrayed, how easy is it to, for- to forgive yourself what you've been through 
How easy is it to forgive others for what they've done to you, especially if they don't apologise for it? How hard is it to be kind and compassionate for somebody after being abused? It feels impossible. And how hard is it to reflect, especially if somebody's done treacherous things to you? Why would you reflect when you know what they've done to you? But it's important that we forgive ourselves for everything we've been through. Even if we've done bad things whilst with the narc, to the narc, whatever it is, we have to forgive ourselves for it. We have to forgive others, like I said, people who will not apologise to you. They hate you and they're not going to apologise. You have to forgive them for yourself. And we already have kindness and compassion within us. Don't let the narcissist destroy that. That's not something... That's something that attracted the narc to us in the first place. And reflection is just important on any level, not just because of good karma. It helps to it helps you to be the best version of yourself possible. By reflecting is positive. You're criticizing yourself in a positive way. You're saying, okay, well the narcissist did this to me, but I allowed it. The narcissist put hands on me, but I didn't call police. Do you understand? So we're kind of looking at, we're more looking at what we did in the situation. It's not our fault. I'm not saying it's our fault. What did we allow? Let's reflect on that. So the next friendship, the next boss, the next relationship, we are not going to do that again. And we will receive good karma. Why? Because we're reflecting we're looking at red flags, we're looking at things we tolerated that we're not going to do again. If you like this video, please hit the like button, please comment and subscribe, and I will see you for my next audio. Bye.